Hello everyone, this is another roundup of uh, my metal detecting finds. Um, I went out this morning. I uh, was going to go down to my some of my uh, favourite beaches um, because the wind is still uh, blowing in the right direction to strip a lot of the uh, sand off. But a friend of mine was down there yesterday and he said that uh, he didn't really get very many coins um, and then he just happened to get one, uh, one gold band. But uh, it was very, very rocky, so I decided to hit another beach that I've gone before. And um, I've uh, managed to get a lot of lead and copper and a few old coins. And uh, guess what? Yeah, more lead and more copper. Um, I've no idea why this beach has got so much copper on it. Um, the lead, of course, is just from fishing, but, but copper, I, I don't know. But I'm, I'm keeping all of it and putting it in a bucket. Um, the lead I put in a bucket and then once a year I take it to the scrap merchants and uh, weigh it in and then I normally get about £50 pounds, um, sterling for uh, for my lead and then the copper. Um, I haven't really been keeping that before but I, I'm finding so much of it these days I'm, I'm keeping it. Um, brass as well. Um, on the same beach um, I did manage to get a very nice buckle. Uh, this came out of the black and then what I then decided to do was um, go around the corner, a uh, bit of a bit of a hike, probably about 15 minute walk, um, to a really secluded little beach that I've never detected before. Um, so it's a bit of more of a uh, a recce really to see what it was like, and then um, more fishing gear, um, child's um, earring, but junk, um, old part of a old lead soldier. A uh, 1968 Welsh Dragon badge. Uh, that was another badge as well, but it's just, it's so far gone. I, I don't know what it is. Um, and then the coin count was just you know unbelievable. Um, so I got 15 pounds 24, and um, on the on the predecimal side of stuff, um, I got uh, uh, 50 coins, um, pennies. Um, ship half pennies. Uh, these are the two older type of penny. A um, couple of sixpences, threepenny bits. Um, half pennies, five pences, ten pences. Um, that I I don't know what it is yet. It's it's um, it might be ten pence. It might be might be something else. I don't know. Um, and then for silver, um, that believe it or not is a silver shilling. Um, I can't quite make out yet who, uh, uh, which king it is, if it's a um, George um, or a um, um, Edward, so I'm not sure. Um, half crown, that's uh, 1939. Again, it's, if you can see the head there, just about needs cleaning. Um, so that's, uh, that's it for the silver. Um, no jewellery at all, but... Um, what uh, um, what I'm really um, surprised about was that the uh, the amount of rock on the beach, um, but the amount of coin as well in such a small a small area. Um, the prevailing winds um, predominantly wash the coins across the beach, and then about three quarters along the beach, there's a uh, a rock, and everything was rammed up against the rock. So I literally spent about four hours um, up and down the side of a rock um, getting all this lot out. So it was uh, 156 coins in total. Um, the tide uh, didn't go out far enough to get onto the wet. So I think uh, this, uh, this little beach um, is definitely going to be on my hit list for the future. Um, so hopefully out on the wet there'll be uh, all the goodies um, because uh, it doesn't look like this uh, this beach has been detected at all really um, or not in the uh, um, not recently anyway um, so that's about it really um, nothing exciting to show you so uh, thanks for watching and see you next time bye